The West Kelowna Warriors had a thrilling matchup against the Prince George Spruce Kings. 3-2 in overtime, but the Warriors started things off with Trent Wilson finding the back of the net. Uh, after a scoreless first period, Wilson finds the back of the goal at 11-15 of the second period. His third of the year from Dylan Brooks. He walks down the left wing side. Finds an avenue through the legs of Ryan Sanborn and gets past the Prince George goaltender on a rolling puck inside of the offensive zone. Third goal of the season for Wilson makes it a one to nothing hockey game. That was the only goal through two periods before a heavy third period saw Prince George uh, take lose the lead, or lose the goal, and then make it a two to nothing game. Does West Kelowna? It's Jack Pridham who picks up his fourth of the year at 12:06. A scramble at the front of the net after a play from Jack Farrell on the right wing side through it to the front of the goal. Felix Karan got a stick on it as well before Pridham gets the last touch and fires a pass. The goaltender in Sanborn. Fourth of the year from Pridham from Karan and Farrell got his first BCHL point at 12:06. That made it two to nothing. But Prince George capitalizing on a power play after a five minute penalty to Trent Wilson and a great pass from Owen. Good brand across the ice for Kazumo Sasaki, his first BC Hockey League goal going through the regs of Rorick Appleby at 1447. Good brand and Randstrom drawing the assist to make it a 2 1 game before at 1548. Lyndon McCow, his first of the season on the power play, a tic tac toe passing play from Kai Greaves and Sasaki uh, as the Spruce Kings tie the game at 1548, make it 2 2 before we get to overtime. And the Warriors had two great chances in overtime. Cal Hughes. The beneficiary of both of them got a pass from uh, Jack Pridham early in overtime. Tried to beat Ryan Sanborn on the blockers or on the glove side. Couldn't get it past his left pad. Sanborn was excellent in the overtime period. And here's another good chance for Hughes in alone to the backhand. But Sanborn with the glove coming through with a huge stop to keep the game going at two to two. And Rorick Appleby also strong in his own end, making a good glove save there on a chance from the high slot. Appleby had to be good on this as well. Was a missed net on the opportunity for Skogan Strott, but then the Warriors get a chance the other way, and it's Brennan Nelson down the left side in front. Michael Salandra finishes it off. His fourth of the year, Salandra from Nelson at 6.36 of the overtime period to give the Warriors the victory. Salandra tied for the team lead with Jack Pridham and goals with four. A great move down the left side for Brennan Nelson to find Salandra going to the net and finish it off. The Warriors win 3-2 to two in overtime, their fifth win of the season, second overtime win of the year, and finish off the Spruce Kings on Friday night at Royal LePage Place.